Europe wants to include abortion in its charter of fundamental rights. The European Parliament voted 336 in favor, 163 against, and 39 abstentions. This comes just weeks after France became the first country in the world to enshrine abortion as a right in its constitution. Faced with this, the European bishops have expressed their concern and hope that this position will not materialize. The Parliament's vote is favorable to this resolution, but for it to be concretely adopted, for the Charter to be amended to include abortion, this is a very complicated process, and moreover, it must be unanimously approved by all the countries. The Parliament's vote can be considered a first step. For an amendment to be made in the Charter, all 27 member states would have to say yes, but countries like Malta, Hungary and Poland would probably reject the proposal. That is why it is difficult for this proposal to be successful. This is very difficult because there are countries that obviously have a legislature that is completely contrary to this. It would be very difficult, but what it would do is create a precedent, a mentality, and that is what is worrying. The church's position on abortion remains clear, a resounding no to a practice that, as it stresses, is contrary to women and unborn children. Obviously, abortion is not a right. The right is the right to life. And above all, this right must be defended when the person is in a vulnerable situation, as is the case for an unborn child in its mother's womb. Many, unfortunately, do not think this way. They think that in order to promote a woman and defend women's rights, abortion must be provided. And this is obviously an argument that is not valid for us. A few days before the European Parliament's vote, the prefect of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez, presented a document endorsing the church's position, saying abortion is contrary to human dignity. It also states that making it part of the law is a sign of a dangerous moral crisis. The bishops quote the important paragraph on abortion in this document in their statement, which they made public on Tuesday because there, it is evident that this teaching of the Church is one that has always been constant. The Vatican document is not only critical of abortion, it also argues the terminology used to refer to it, for example, termination of pregnancy, tends to mask its true nature.